Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial on using the fluid simulator and including an obstacle in the, in the simulation. I'm A1 Sirius. Let's get started. Here we have a blend file that uh, contains this cube and we'll just scale that up a little bit to use that as our fluid domain. And I press 1 and 5 on the num keypad and Z to have this in wireframe mode so we can see everything that goes on inside of here. And I'll just pull that out and we'll use the physics tab for this and I'll use this as my fluid domain as I said and there are just a couple of changes I would like to make here and that is um, uh, I would like to have a fluid boundary with the uh, free slip and I would just like to use the oil viscosity and uh, I'll just leave everything else just the way it is, uh, except I would like to change this here to another directory. I create a new one here and I call that uh, just temp. Uh, so, and it's a new empty directory, so there's nothing there. And I'll do Shift A to add a UV sphere that I use for my fluid object. Scale it up a little bit, and then Shift A, add a cube. There you go, for my obstacle object. And it's the cube that I will uh, make changes to to, you know, accommodate the fluid. I would like to make a ball out of it and I'll delete the top face here and go into edge mode and scale that up. Pull it up a little bit maybe. So we'll, we'll make some uh, tests here with this and this is to demonstrate what happens when you when you bake something. We can actually go ahead and um, we'll select this here um, yeah we'll keep it right there and this here I can use okay we'll make the fluid object first here just to get our simulation set up and this one here also is the obstacle so I'll just so which is the new thing here so we'll just add the obstacle and I use shell as my initial initialization and uh, free slip like that so there you go here we'll look at this in edit mode and that's what that looks like and um, we will this is in a way a little bit of a demonstration or a, an experiment and I'll add a subdivision surface modifier to this and uh, turn it up to three. So now we have something when we look at this, we look at this in um, object mode. Okay, can't see that through them like this. You can turn it on by going to, we just go and view only this object and uh, turn on so that that's what that looks like now right and um, select everything and do shade smooth and go back to the view here the total view of this so now we're ready to bake this and uh, turn on I have to select the domain go to the physics tab and press the bake button and since our resolution is pretty low it it's uh, kind of quick and um, I can just play that see how far we got and uh, this is what I wanted to get to here we can stop that fluid simulation right there and you can see that and we're going to solid mode you can see that the fluid simulation uh, uses the actual um, obstacle not the one that is you know past the uh, subdivision surface modifier so if we look at this one here and here you can see 
you cannot move this you can't change the order of things the stack order is fixed so that means that if you would like to have um, you know use uh, modify or for instance use a subdivision surface modifier to smoothen your your model you kind of have to apply that and um, and then you'll bake it let's see what we got here and uh, and there you go now you can see that you have uh, you know you have the rounder object but still you're going to still get some leakage here some of this is overflow some of that is leakage it actually leaks through the uh, you know the simulation if i turn on the final which is a finer mesh you get a more even leakage and if you had a finer uh, a finer bake uh, still you'll get uh, less leakage but you will get leakage because uh, you have I, i'm using remove air bubbles here and that means that the the surface of the i actually i'm actually going to yeah it's almost finished we'll just let it run to finish we can talk about this uh the you know this means that the liquid seeps so to speak through the walls to make sure it's perfectly airtight against the wall uh so there are there are no gaps between the fluid and the and the obstacle so um and we can just kind of back this up a little bit yeah i can see there and now we can do something kind of interesting we could just apply this uh just apply the modifier and now um like we, you can't really play it because we have applied the modifier so there's really nothing you know it's fixed now now i messed it up on purpose so here we go go and and this is the mesh that we have so here this is the like as dense as the mesh will be in this with these settings that's what it looks like right so we'll just leave that right leave that bake there in its frozen state so you can actually use a fluid simulation to create a mesh that you can use for other purposes later uh, anyway uh, We'll minimize this, and then I'll bring up another one. Uh, there you go, and uh, here, here's a file where I've made some changes, and uh, I have actually baked with a higher resolution, and then it looks a little bit more like this. But there's another thing I also did, and that is, of course. We go back to this one here. There's another thing I did, and that's um, that I uh, added another wall to my my obstacle. So now we'll we'll delete this here, and I'll add. So now I'll have to create a new domain. Shift A, mesh cube, and we can just like that so that's my new domain here now and um, since I since I applied the modifier I have to really start over uh, and anyway w what I was wanting to show here is we can increase this to a hundred maybe uh, and we have to have oh, I really want the free slip show here is you know what happens when you have double walls and all I will do here is just shift uh, I have this and I sh uh, shift D oh no shift D and scale it up so this will be my other wall the double walled thing here and just um, like this and like that and Bridge edge loops. And we'll 
no, that's not here. There you go. There you go. And I'll bump that up a little bit. So now I have shaped this this bowl so that it's kind of it's kind of rounded here. And why I do that is because I would like the the fluid to flow over so it doesn't stay on the on the flat surface. And um, let's then let's start to bake here. And I'm not gonna let this run to its conclusion. Just a little bit into it. And um, it's almost there, I think. So you can you can see that the simulation uh, we can. can just go into solid mode here and I select the, the bowl and uh, face mode and I'll uh, delete some faces here so we can look inside and see what we have you can see there's a, a certain amount of leakage and uh, maybe I need to just uh, turn on the final here and you can see it leaks through here. You can see that the, the fluid leaks through, but since we have a double wall, it's not gonna look like it's leaking through. So I, th I hope this explains a little bit how the obstacles w work and um, what you need to think about. Uh, I'll look at a completed or this this is previously baked and with a higher resolution and uh, you get this kind of result okay like that and I would like to show some renders uh, and uh, No, that's not it. Here you go. Yeah. It's a lot of baking here and, and rendering and, and this wanna show some renders. <coughs> this is a simple simpler rendering. You can see how you know the you get this kind of frazzliness sometimes. And it, when you have droplets that are making their way back to the, the or slipping down the surface it it may or may not look completely fluid it could look some almost like edgy at some at points and here's another one and also the same thing happens here uh, let's see here there you go and there over here in this area here you can see this here is hard to resolve when you get these uh, you know you can say almost like pointy fluids that's something that you really want to avoid you get these loose uh, loose bits of mesh and the, this one here is just a teaser for the next tutorial that's about um, you know, moving the obstacles and changing, you know, animating the actual obstacles. So that's that. And we'll look at that in the next tutorial. And I think this pretty much concludes this. And I thank you for your time. Thank you for viewing. And I talk to you soon. Bye bye.